Hey everybody and welcome back to 3 Acorn Bourbon. Really excited about today's Bite Size Bourbon review for you guys because I did it. I solved the age-old debate, what's the best budget bourbon? Benchmark foolproof. That was easy. So there are a few markings on the bottle that can teach us quite a bit about this whiskey. So the term foolproof indicates it was bottled at an undiluted proof, suggesting it came out of the barrel straight into a bottle without being diluted by a bunch of water. And the phrase Kentucky straight bourbon also tells us quite a bit about the whiskey. For instance, we know the mash bill is at least 51% corn, it's not cut with any other spirits, and it's aged at least two years, among other things. Now, with each of these bottles being 125 proof, I think it's safe to say there's some dilution just to make sure that all the bottles get to 125 proof. When bottles are actually barrel proof, you're gonna get these unique labels with different proof points because each barrel is different. It's different amounts of alcohol evaporates, and each barrel's a little different. So if every single bottle of Benchmark Full Proof is 125 proof, that suggests they likely dilute it down to make sure that there's consistency. But that doesn't make it any less delicious. The McAfee brothers, James and Harrison, were pioneers in the early history of the Buffalo Trace Distillery. James and Harrison McAfee established the OFC, Old Fashioned Copper Distillery, in 1773, laying the foundation for what would eventually become Buffalo Trace Distillery. They were frontiersmen who ventured into the Kentucky wilderness, embracing the challenges of the frontier to establish their distillery in 1773. Operating during the American Revolutionary War in the early years of the United States shows the McAfee brothers distilled during some turbulent times, showcasing their resilience and commitment to the whiskey production process. Now, the McAfee brothers were surveyors, and as these frontiersmen would survey the land, the marks they leave behind were known as benchmarks. The McAfee brothers' involvement in the distillation of spirits helped lay the foundation for the bourbon industry in Kentucky. They were early adopters of some advanced distillation techniques, and their legacy is intertwined with a broader history of American whiskey. This whiskey has garnered multiple awards and plenty of favorable critical reviews, including from me. And that's helped by the fact that it's one of the very few 120 plus proof bourbons by a major Kentucky distillery at this price range. It's 125 proof from Buffalo Trace with an MSRP of $22. Let's get into the tasting notes. Now I couldn't find a reliable age statement online. There isn't one on the bottle. I saw a lot of people saying four years, but that isn't something I can confirm on my own. I mean, it only says Kentucky straight whiskey, which means at least two years. And as we learned in an earlier video, Bottled in bond means at least four years, but this bottle doesn't say bottled in bond. So I'm not sure, we just know it's at least two years. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter. It's Buffalo Trace, it's a delicious whiskey, let's just get into it. On the nose. It's so good. I mean, it's rich and inviting. It's a ton of brown sugar, vanilla, lots of good caramel. And it's complex. I mean, there's dried fruits, there's raisin and apricot, and there's like baking chocolate. And then you get the charred oak, and then you get a gentle spiciness to it. I mean, there's a nutmeg. It's really complex. It's deep. It's delicious. It's inviting. And I want to taste it. I mean, the first sip, you get the heat. You're aware that this is 125 proof. The first flavor is just a sweet corn whiskey. It's creamy. It's got a nice kind of medium to full body. There's this big caramel, big toffee. There's like a velvety honey to it. And that sweetness is balanced perfectly with these spicy notes. There's cinnamon, there's nutmeg, there's black pepper. I mean, I wouldn't pay $50 for this whiskey, but they're not asking for $50. And again, at this price point, unbeatable. And the finish is robust and lingering. Initially, the finish is just the oak and the spice, that, that cinnamon and that nutmeg. But then that spiciness fades into this nice kind of pleasant smokiness. And then that keeps on fading into like a, like a bitter, dark chocolate. It's a great nose, a great palate, a great finish, low 20s MSRP. Now you can't find it everywhere, but where you can find it, you should pick it up. So in this video, we covered what Kentucky straight bourbon is and what kind of full proof or barrel proof is supposed to look like. And this is certainly a whiskey I recommend drinking with like a splash of water, a couple of drops of spring water, however you like it. We should probably get into different ways of drinking whiskey and, and why people might like certain methods of drinking it. I'm certainly in the camp of drink whiskey the way that you like it. Maybe for my next high proof, barrel proof review, we'll get into maybe some of the benefits and why I prefer a couple of drops of water or a splash of water, at least on these higher proof whiskeys. Well, that's it for today's video. And remember, bourbon is made for sharing.
open your bottles, make some memories. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.